Hey there, just wanted to do a quick video on ProPresenter 7 and Apple TV. The uh, reason I'm doing the video is because when I tried to set this up, when we were first trying to get ProPresenter or thinking about getting ProPresenter, this is nowhere online, nowhere on YouTube. I couldn't find anything if it's compatible, if it works. And so I wanted to do a quick video on it. I thought maybe this might help some other churches or some other uh, uh, sound guys, sound techs, audio techs, whoever you are. You're trying to get your ProPresenter and Apple TV working. Uh, it's very, very simple. It works flawlessly. Okay, so if you have ProPresenter open, you go up here, you click screen mirroring, you click you, Apple TV. So you just connect your Apple TV to the internet, connect your, your uh, Apple TV to the projector, and then, and then put, your, put it up here. You can see when you go onto it, you can select, use a separate display. Uh, so we use it as a separate display. You can also mirror it, do whatever way. But it basically, it shows up just like it would any other, you know, we have a TV up here. We have other, um, other displays uh, over here that we could, we could select to. But it shows up like any other screen. You can go into your settings and adjust to where you want it, all these types of things. When you come into ProPresenter, you just you go into configure screens so screens configure screens um, we have it set up under projector apple tv so this is our audience uh, our audience view in in uh, in pro presenter if you don't know how to do this you can go there's lots of videos on this but it's just set up a screen you click here we go here and you can um you can there's two ways you can do this you can push outputs and actually when you push outputs it shows oh you can't really see it on there let me um You can see there, let's see if I can zoom that in. It shows up, it tells you which display it is. So coming back here, um, if you go back to your size, you can, it'll tell you it's two, your, uh, a display two, or you can come in here, you can push identify. When you push identify, it shows up up there. You just click it, obviously now uh, it works. So you're just, it, 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 it's, same as, it's the same as having it hardwired in. There's no difference. There's no, uh, um, it's just the same as any other screen. It shows up like, you know, here's the other two screens that we can use. This is this screen, other, the other screen we have, which is our a confidence monitor up there. And the Apple TV shows up just like any other screen, even though it's wireless. So it's completely wireless. It's very, very handy and very, very helpful. But if you ask ProPresenter, I emailed them and asked them if it would work before we got it. They said, no, there's no compatibility. It doesn't work, blah, 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 blah. I don't think they even bothered to try, but I'm sure they're busy, they got other things to do, but they, you know, it would be nice if they put it on their website. Hey, it does work, or they made a video about it. It's very simple. Everybody has Apple TV. Nobody wants wires. We don't want wires. Uh, it works fine. So up here, I'll show you very quickly. Um, so you can, if you want to do something similar, however you want to set it up. We have ours in the, in the, in the sky, right? So we have our Apple TV right, um, right there. Apple TV is up there. We have an internet cable, like an ethernet cable that goes to it so that it's connected to our internet, obviously. That's, you have to have it connected to the internet through ethernet somehow. And then we just run a short HDMI from the Apple TV into our projector. And now we have a wireless pro presenter um, through Apple TV. And so you connect that, connect to Wi-Fi. And as you can see, I'll go into here. I'll just go through some slides that we have. There's our, um, there's our slides. Blah, blah, blah. Very, very simple. You go through your, you know, your, your words. These ones are small, not formatted, but there's our words, how we have it. Everything works just like normal. So yes, you can run Apple TV. Yes, you can uh, have wireless ProPresenter. You don't have to have a hardwire connection to anything, to any screen. Um, we have had zero issues with this. We have never had it crash. We did have it, uh, that's a lie. We did have it crash one time, but that was because we overloaded this, the computer and the, everything crashed. It wasn't just ProPresenter. But during a service or when we're using this, uh, you know, just using ProPresenter, we have never had it crash. We stream video through this. Uh, we set it up the same way we would stream anything else. If we have an action, uh, uh, you know, we set it up as an action placeholder, but here's a video. Um, here we have, you can see there's video. We have it set up right through there. Um, if you want to know how to set up the, the audio, what we did was we, we just came out of the back of the Apple, or sorry, the, um, how did we do that? 
we used a HDMI stripper. So a little, it's a little box audio stripper, a little HDMI audio stripper. It's actually, um, it's actually up there somewhere. It doesn't matter. You can go on Amazon. They're like 20 bucks. And then we just ran it into our sound system like a normal XLR or a normal, however you want to plug it in left and right. We did that and we routed it into a channel on our, on our uh, X32 and it works flawlessly. So if you want to use ProPresenter and Apple TV and stream wirelessly, it is completely possible and it works like a charm. It's exactly the same as anything else. We've had no connectivity issues. We stream video, we stream, uh, um, you know, uh, um, even the, we're not using motion backgrounds anymore, but the motion backgrounds that we had, we would do those, no issues. Everything went, it was just fine. Um, so yeah, if you want to use it, go ahead and use it. It's awesome. It works great. So hope that helps somebody and, uh, yeah, good luck.